TG fam and welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back everybody. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on what Teenage G family is doing. Also, hit that notification bell so you can get notified anytime we post new content. So Austin, this has been long overdue, but we figured that we would do a tour of where we've been living down here in Miami. Ooh, a house tour? <gasps> All right, sure. let's so, do it. Here we are. This is the front of our building over here. Vanna White status. Ooh. We actually have a hotel connected to our place. So if you want to come visit us, you're more than welcome to stay in the hotel. <laughs> the guest bedroom of our place. Vanna White, <laughs> you want to take us on a tour to the uh, front door? Yes. Let's everybody. go. Come in, everybody. First up, I got to say, isn't this view amazing? Palm trees. I'm not just talking about the palm trees, I'm talking about this this hottie right here. Oh. Woo. Welcome to the loft. Welcome in, welcome in. First off, we just gotta say coolest elevator. Coolest elevator. Coolest. Infinity. It's like I jumped into the vortex. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so cool though, I mean, you can see this like backlit light here. That is super cool. Super cool, right? Super cool. Mm -hmm. Floor 23, Mr. Jumpman himself. All right, welcome in, welcome Blondie, in. Welcome to our house. Blondie, show us the kitchen. Show us your workspace. Okay, this is supposedly my workspace. Austin doesn't <laughs> come in here very often because <laughs> let's face it, he doesn't really cook. So, what? <laughs> come on, come on. We've got this huge island. This is where we have our Christmas and our Thanksgiving dinners. We have the whole buffet lined up right here. Ooh, this is huge. Like, huge. you can lay on this. And yeah. it has little sparklies in it. I know, this is the coolest counter. It's got like glitter effect. It's so pretty. That is cool. We Ooh. have our beautiful acrylic cabinets. Oh, yeah, I love these. And of course, the Vitamix. The Vitamix. That we finally got back here. Yes, it was in Ooh. Oregon for the longest time. Shout out mom and dad, thank you for bringing this. We use it every single day, <laughs> every day. So glad to have you back, so good. And of course, one of our favorite plants. This guy's name is Alfalfa. Yep, look he, at this. Uh, he perked up after a while. He was quite droopy when we got him and uh, look at this thing. It's just like straight up. <laughs> I love it though. Alfalfa. It's Ooh. Like, oh my. So that's the kitchen, that's alfalfa. Don't worry, we cleaned up a little alfalfa mess. But <laughs> you're in a dining room! Woo! So, ideally, you'd have a nice table here. You know, you would eat your meals here. But instead, we don't. So, we just have our plant. Lisa Kane! <laughs> Lisa Kane. Lisa. You got it. That's actually the plants. That is the plants. That is like the plants' name. official scientific name. So yes. we just call her Lisa. She's been growing so much. She has. Like literally, when we got this in Cleveland, she was like, was she? yeah, about there. Look at that. Look at all this new growth. She's thriving here in Florida. She is. She loves it. Lisa! All right. Anyway. Hit it, Blondie. Get it. Uh, 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 uh. This Wait. is where we eat. Bar yes. stools. Yeah, we got one for me, one for Blondie, and guest one, guest two. Or my legs. Or Blondie's legs. Living room. We can't talk about this rug right now. It is. This, it's like 70s meets 2022. It's so plush. I don't know if you can tell right now, but check this out. It is like so thick. It's like a shag carpet from the 70s, but it looks a lot better. Oh, yes. Okay, so next, master suite. Woo! So come on in here. This is where the magic happens. We got the massive king size bed. Boom. Me, AG doesn't believe in dressers. We have only had dressers once in our marriage, and that was for a brief time. And we hate dressers. We think they're just old fashioned. So we have cubes. Ooh. We've always had cubes. So this is how we store our clothes and our stuff. Teenage style. We just got like rolled up pants. We got like folded up tank tops, all of Blondie's clothes, everything's yep. rolled up. 
It's just so aesthetically pleasing. Better isn't that it? way. It's it so is. much more modern. And a little cactus. A little back. cactus over there. And then behind you are our pictures. So every year that we're married, we always take a picture of someplace fun or exciting or important that we have visited on that year. So starting over here, in our honeymoon, we went to Paris. Woo! And then the next year, we went to London for Christmas. And then the next year, Hollywood sign! And then running over here, this is Saguaro National Park in Arizona. And then one of our favorites, Times Square and New Year's. Woo! This one will be Miami. It's Ooh. at the printers right now. It so is. It's coming. It's coming soon. A year for every kind of memorable spot that we've been in our marriage for the year that we've been married. Yes. One coming up. All right. Here to the closets. We got to talk about the closets real yes, quick. Yes, we do. Before I show you. So, I'm not bitter or anything, <laughs> but we got to look at my closet. Open okay. up my closet for him. So here's my closet, you know, yes, it's uh, it's nothing bad, but you know, it's a standard closet, right? You just It's fine. You got clothes, you got the rack up top, but that's it. That's all I have for my closet. I'm not bitter or anything, He's but bitter. you know, your boy always gets to sacrifice himself. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> happy wife, happy life. Remember that. You're making it sound like I have a whole room for a closet. She practically does. What do you okay. call it? Show us. Show us right now. Is called my oasis. I love my closet. I have spent many hours trying to figure out how I can organize this. All of my winter stuff is in storage, so this isn't even half of it. Shh, don't tell anyone. What? <laughs> Welcome to my oasis. Oh my gosh. For, what, for the room that we have, I love this room. I mean, it's not all my stuff in one place, unfortunately, but hey. I've got my shoes, I've got my dresses, I've got my purses. Like seriously guys, Ooh. she can step in her closet. Look at this, I even have a little step stool. Oh my gosh. To get all the way up there. That is too much. It smells much. like leather in here. My oasis. Again, should I remind you? My closet. Her <laughs> closet. What? Master bathroom. Walk-in shower. Real talk. How many people actually use the two sink vanity? Because we had this in our old place. We use one sink. So how many of you husbands and wives, partners, anything use your sinks? Do any of you guys really be honest? Comment. Throw that in the comments <laughs> below. Do you guys actually use the his and her sinks? Because we definitely don't. Don't forget. Yep. Team AG Vision Board. The Team right AG here. Vision Board. AG Family. All right. I see you. Yes. Bathroom. Guest bathroom, aka emergency toilet, when <laughs> Blondie is in the master bathroom, we got a second toilet. And we have this, just for us. Another poopery. Not just for <laughs> me. And then look at this thing. This is a really cool look bathtub, by the way. It even has armrests. It's got like a neck rest. Woo! Yep. Like that's, that's big. Somebody could sleep in this. But to be honest, it is amazing to have a bath because yes. I love baths. I love soaking in a hot tub, like late night. Blondie doesn't really like baths. Nope, he's all about the saunas and the hot tubs and Absolutely. the bathtub. Ugh. Wait a second. What? Time out. What was your pit stop? I was going to talk about the most controversial topic in this entire place. This, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> is the only time that we fight. Oh, okay, not fight, not fight. Argue. <laughs> the only hiccup in our marriage. This stupid thermostat. Dun, dun, dun. So, let's talk about this. We need to talk about this. <laughs> he has his way during the day at a balmy, yucky, humid, hot 72 degrees. Not balmy, not humid, not hot. 72 is normal. No, it's not. It's disgusting. Comment below on this as well. Is 72 normal? Do you set your house to 72 degrees like in the winter time? In the winter? In your own house, the 72 is good. 72 is not bad. So listen, I'm a 68 girl. Like if I could go lower than that, I probably would. <gasps> 68 when we're sleeping, no questions. We cannot <gasps> fight about this. <laughs> Let me tell I'll you. I'll get more blankets if you need. 
Yeah. I have caught this thermostat hitting 65 at night. Like, yeah, I wake yeah. up and it feels like we woke up in Antarctica. Oh, Antarctica oh, was a dream one day. Not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. See, we're even arguing about it right now. Comment below, is 65 60. too cold? No. It's 65 is freezing. On to the next. We have whiteboards where we put all of our to-do lists. So it's super important to us to visually see what we need to do, what we need to accomplish for that week. So we have two whiteboards, one's high priority and one is get to it that week priority. This is the amazing part when you have the eraser and you get to erase off that task. It's a beautiful feeling. Woo! Onto the office and kind of peloton room. This is where we get a lot of our work done, computer, Shredder, very important. This, this is, is mine. Blondie's Haven. And it's adjusted to your height, so oh. I can't even get it. Oh <laughs> reach, Blondie, reach. Yeah. Okay, anyway. So follow us on Peloton, challenge time. <laughs> See if you can beat us. Don't forget our beautiful cactuses. Ooh, and so, okay. another one. Back to the Peloton, let's have a conversation. It's not enough just to have the screen in front of you. So of course, we have another. So that while we're looking on our screen here, we can also look at our screen there. But it is not overkill. This is amazing to be able to have a life-size screen. It's like you're trading with the Peloton instructors in New York. In person. At the studio. They are right there in your face, yelling right at you. They're in your face. And let's not forget one last closet in the house. All Blondie's closet. That's not true. You have stuff in here. 90% Blondie, 10% Austin. Listen, it's small, so I can't put most of it, but that's all Austin in there. But anyway. I mean, it's not small. It's definitely walk in again. All right, one last thing. The best part. The best part of waking up is outside on our porch. Outside, everybody. Look how tinted this is, first of all. Outside, oh, close. These sunglasses when that thing is open. Oh, I'm putting my sunglasses on. Check this Woo! out. Roaring engines out here, rah, rah. Look, off in the distance is Fort Lauderdale. We can even see where the cruises are coming in and out. Fort Lottie, Fort Lottie. Fort Lottie, Lottie. And the cruise ships. Down. That's the entrance. Oh my gosh. We come out here, we sip our coffee, Austin sips his whatever. He doesn't drink coffee. Water? Water. <laughs> this is amazing though, seriously. Yep. Late nights, early mornings, catching the sunrise. This is the best part out here. This is probably one of my all-time favorite parts of our unit. Definitely. Right? That right. is our place. Let's head over to the amenities. What really sold us on this place? Amenity time. This first room is a club room. Yeah. The Social lounge. The TV and the couch. It's got amazing. A sitting room and uh, around the corner, billiards table. Ooh. Get your hand at that cha -cha. pool. We got your bar. This is pretty cool though. You want to have like parties or events? This bar right here, that's super cool. Come this way. Next, we have the dance, the yoga, the sauna. Who saunas? So check this out. All for your dancing and yoga needs. You've got a whole studio in here. This is the dancer's room though. Can we see another dance move in here? Another? Yeah, bust it. Let's hit those moves. <laughs> Come on in here. You have the hot sauna. No thanks. Go ahead. This is my heaven in here. Blondie is not a fan of sauna. She'll sit in them, but very shortly. Me, I could last in here for like an hour. That sounds awful. That sounds miserable. That sounds lovely. And then you have the steam room. Steam sauna. Just complete. Tile steam. It's amazing though. Which is your favorite? Neither. <laughs> this girl needs to know how to live. Right now for the gym. The gym, baby. Where we get swole. All right. Check this out. This gym is quite large for this building and it excites me so much. You've got your cardio and then you've got your weights and your machines. Look at this. Oh, look Let's at see this. it. Let's see it, Blondie. Let's see it. Let's get some reps oh. right now. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh. 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 Am I swollen yet? 
Absolutely always small. <laughs> but seriously, look at this view. Of all these treadmills, and you get to view out here? Just wait till you see this. This is where we're going next, and the part that super sold us on this building. The outside, outside. baby. Listen, if you live in Miami, you gotta have the best outdoor space available Ooh. to you. So you do. This this was the cherry on top, the icing on the cake, the outside. Are you ready to see the best part of this building? It's so good. It's so good. Amazing. Let's go. Come on. Ooh. Welcome to a little piece of paradise. Oh boy. Wow. All right, guys, like we said, this is the part that sold us on this building. This right it. off the gym, the rooftop outdoor dream space. Extravaganza. It's like a national park up here for it Miami. <laughs> you got the birds, you got the tropical wildlife on the rooftop, you got the palm trees. This. Check this out. Come look at this. Woo! Just check this out right here. What a giant fountain! Fountain off the deck. Oh, <laughs> this thing lights up at night, lights all in this fountain, but Check this part out. This is super cool. We have this barbecue area. What? Say what? What is that? You've got a barbecue area. So anytime you want a barbecue, look at that. Grills right there. Double this, grills? If you want to have a party, if you want to have people over, anything. Look, we have an entire station. There's two of these. So yeah. one over here two. and one on the other side. This is also a super cool part. This building is like made for entertaining or yes. made for hospitality. So right off the barbecue area, you have the sitting area. Sit and lounge. And it's just so peaceful. You, know. you get to listen to the fountain, the birds, look at the palm trees. Woo. This is like five star resort status. We're going up to the pool. And it's got this lovely trickling fountain. Woo. It just makes you feel like you're on vacation. The best part. This is the biggest pool that we could find here in Miami. And look at this place. You've got your day beds, you've got cabanas, you've got lounge chairs, and of course, the beach view. The beach! This infinity pool that also lights up at night that looks right over the beach. Vacation paradise. One of the main reasons that we wanted to move here down to Miami was number one, this has always been on our vision board and in our mm -hmm. dreams. And so being able to manifest this and just affirming this into our life, yes. it actually came to existence. We wrote it down in our journal last March that we wanted to wake up next to palm trees. And we made that happen. Yeah. And of course it took work, it took hard work to get here, but we made that happen. And now we wake up to palm trees and it is so glorious. Palm trees to us, it's just, it brings us life. It gives us energy. And of course, you know, you have the blue skies. This time of year in the north, it's freezing or it's snowing and it's disgusting and it's always gray. So when you wake up to blue skies, it just, man, it lights you on fire. It makes you want to work hard. It just pours Ooh. life into your soul. Yes. Just having blue skies, palm trees, the warmth, the pool, just stuff like this, the day yes. bed, the, the cabana. cabanas. Like you literally can bring your laptop out here with a little snack Yeah. and this is your office. Just so grateful, so very blessed to be able very to live blessed. here in Miami and look at these memories like wow it we shows the power of your words putting it into existence and declaring it and look Definitely. we're here we're living in miami so don't forget that you always need to write down your goals you yep. need to talk about your goals yeah. you need to put them on your vision board because this was on our vision board it's true this is what we talked about and now we're living it and this is our dream so we are full proof that you work hard and you actually declare your visions and your dreams that they can come true. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed our house tour. We manifested this and we have dreamed about this. So this is yep. the place that's a little slice of heaven. Just, it's so good for us. It's so good for our mental health. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it helps you open your eyes to see what living in Miami is like. But don't forget, as always, like, like comment, comment, share, and subscribe. subscribe. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs>
like, comment, share, and subscribe. subscribe. And tune in to the AG family. Who knows what is next? But we will see you next time, guys.